Okay, so this is my, a reminder video of how I do my Kumon, how I edit my Kumon picture book. So first of all, I guess I will go through and show you my folder. I've got a folder on my desktop here where I start from. And in this folder, there are three main uh, files here, three main folders in this folder. Um, you've got the original images which I scanned in. Um, you've got the uh, GIMP files which I save at each time just in case I need to go back and edit, start something again. And you've got the my uh, my final images. So normally I just I put I set up like this. I have the originals on this side, and I have the uh, final Kumon images, which I've edited here on the, on the right. So then I go ahead and open up GIMP. And to start with, I go to File and Open. And I choose a file from this. You notice I've got them already set up here, the three folders. So I start with the original. So I go and choose. I've done this one already, so I'll put it into the pages done. Then I guess I'll just go to the next page, so page 37. So I choose 37. And I've got, you can see there are three images here. So the first thing I do is duplicate. So I go to open up my keyboard viewer. Uh, so you can see. So it's duplicate is actually it's image duplicate here, but it's. I normally do this the keyboard shortcut which is command D so command D oh I made a mistake there sorry command D you'll notice that it starts duplicating at the top there I've, I've duplicated it six times five six then I'll go ahead and start with the first image and the first image I'll press Z for zoom and I'll start zooming in and I'll go through each image of the images that I want and zoom in just because I find it saves time doing it all at the same time Oops. command does zooms out command tap zooms out um, and the last image okay so then I'll go and do crop which is shift C for crop and you'll notice it this one this icon is selected now before it was zoom which is this one and this one and just for to save just to show you now the last tool I'll use is the clone tool which is down here so anyway, so we're in the crop tool now, so I'll just go ahead and select and using the handlebars, I will adjust the size and then hit return to crop. And I'll go through each image and I'll, do, I'll crop each of the images at the same time. So basically last night it had been several months since I'd actually done this and I'd forgotten, completely forgotten how to do it. So I had to go through and figure out how to do it again. So I thought, why don't I do a pro uh, a video, a quick video reminder so I can just, it would help me <laughs> to remember exactly what to do. It would be a much, much quicker than having to 
trying to figure it out again from scratch. Luckily, I think remembered how to do it, but yeah, so I'm doing a video. Um, okay, so I've cropped all the images. There's six images now. And next I'll go to, finally I'll go to the clone tool and this keyboard shortcut is C. So I just hit C on the keyboard and I'll press command and tap and it locks that bit in place and then I can just go all the way around the outside. Then I'll start to delete the text. You see that little bit there, I'll do that last because it's a bit fiddly. Let's get rid of all of this. Then what I'll do, that little fiddly bit, I'll press Z for zoom and I'll zoom right in. Then I'll press C you notice the, the clone tool is a bit too big, so you come back up here to size, to where the cursor changes like this. And it makes it nice and small. Then I'll put it up here. And yeah, that's deleted, so I'll press Z. Z for zoom and the command button and then tapping on the uh, on the cursor sorry tapping on the trackpad and that's deleted so normally I would go yeah I would go through each and every image and delete everything but just to st for this demonstration video I will show you how I save and export. So, so next I have to save this as a GIMP file which um, is command s and you'll notice it get the file name is kumon37 but this is the first image so I'll just add one to it and I normally save uh, sorry I normally copy that file name so you want to select the correct file which is the GIMP you want to select this GIMP folder here, which is where all the GIMP files are saved. You notice it's XCF. So select the GIMP folder and then just select save. And that's that image, uh, that fold file saved. Now you want to export as a JPEG. So you hit Command E for export. And you check the file name. Uh, now, at, f at first, when you your first image is going to be a PNG file, so you need to change that to JPG. Once you've done it the first time, uh, the the GIMP program remembers that you've called renamed it JPG, and it just keeps JPG after that. So uh, finally, you just want to select the JPEGs folder. And just you notice it has 25% there, that's kind of important. So select the JPEGs folder and go to export. Then you've got this quality up here. Now you can move the quality around, but I've actually saved it. So load go to load defaults and it automatically saves uh, resets it to 25%, which is what this is, 25%. So I've noticed that um, that's the file size quality that I've chosen. Then just export. Now just to double check, this is uh, 37.1. So if you go to if you go to your final images JPEGs, 37.1. 
and there it is it's saved and it's at 194 kilobits and it's a kind of kind of large size for you're going to be using it for anki but it's good enough I, i'm happy to keep it like that i don't mind having large file sizes i'm just going to be doing it for myself so and then if you go to if you go back to the gimps folder 37 37 one and there it is and that's basically how i edit my images uh, i've run out